All right, today we're going to look at a forecasting method, exponential uh, smoothing. I got this idea from the uh, Beer Industry Electronic Commerce Coalition. Uh, they did a beer uh, forecast or accuracy in beer sales forecasting. So I thought it would be interesting to use their numbers and thank you for posting it on the web. Some of the numbers have been modified a little bit just to, for class demonstration here, uh, but these are numbers that were basically taken from their 12 ounce cans. Um, the convention we're using in class is that when this first number has actually happened, <clears throat> the ones in parentheses will happen uh, once we forecast for the month. So this allows us, just for a teaching example, to go down in the months uh, with the forecast. All right, the first thing we need to do is calculate error. Error is simply the actual minus the forecasted, or A minus F. So with the first month, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a forecast of 115. So my error is simply 110 minus 115, which is negative 5, and these are 1,000, so negative 5,000. That's how much my forecast was off. All the forecast is telling us, or all the error was telling us, is how much <clears throat> our actual points deviated from where it really came in. It's another way of looking at the variance. All right, so now I want to calculate my forecast. The way we're going to use forecast, Ft plus 1, <clears throat> it's going to equal our forecast plus our alpha times our error. For these problems, we're just going to use an alpha equal to 0 0.5. What an alpha is, is a smoothing factor. How quickly we will, we have a difference almost between response and smoothing. So what we're doing with our alpha is kind of balancing this, how responsible we want our forecasts versus how much we want to smooth out the peaks and valleys. All right, <clears throat> say so we're in week one, we're forecasting for week two. We know our current forecast, since we're in week one, is 115. Our alpha is 0 0.5, and our error is negative 5. <clears throat> so real simply, my forecast for the second week is going to be 112.5, or the 115 minus 2.5. All right, comes the end. I'm just going to erase this to make some more move room. <clears throat> now that we have 2 in, we can make believe week 2 actually happened. So again, we go and calculate the error. The error is our A minus F or 165 minus our 112.5. Uh, <clears throat> so my error becomes 52.5. I just follow the same thing. I know my <clears throat> current forecast. I know my error. I have my alpha. I stick it right in the formula and calculate it out and it will come out to 138.8. Now that I have the forecast, I see how much it differs from my actual. And I just keep going. Again, I just keep plugging it into the formula, FT plus one, other, other words, our forecast for the next month, just equals the forecast for the current month times my alpha 
times my error. And we can keep going down, finishing the series. Okay, now we have just completed the chart and just filled in the other errors and the forecast. And if we were to plot out, this is what our chart would look like. Of course, the actuals are plotted in black and the forecasted mount are in red. Um, so seeing the difference between the dots, we can see our forecast errors and see that the forecast error does track. Um, you could see that because of the smoothing, uh, when we had the large gain up to over 465, that the forecast didn't react instantaneously. And if you go back and look at the data, you can see that's what the data shows. All right, we got our A-plus students in the class right now. <laughs>